My name is Sebastian Luber. I'm the coordinator of quantum technologies at Infineon, coming directly from Munich, so happy to be here at the Oktoberfest. What we have here are major building blocks for a quantum computer. So Infineon is having the broadest portfolio following three different technologies. We have superconductors, which is one way to build a quantum computer. And there you have extremely small signals, which you have to amplify. And therefore, what we have here is an extremely sensitive amplifier built by superconducting circuits. Then a second possibility to build a quantum computer, to build the, the basic building block, a so-called quantum bit, a qubit, is semiconductors. So here we have a wafer of a so-called silicon germanium structure. It's not standard silicon, so you need a little bit of additional other materials in order to really confine signal electrons there. And then last but not least, we have ions. So ions, there you use a single ion as this qubit, this quantum bit. And you have to capture these ions, and that's what we do with these kind of ion trap chips. There you have multiple thousands of electrodes, actually, and you apply potentials to capture the ion, to hold it in where it is, and then manipulate it by lasers. And all, all in all, we do this because we are convinced that quantum computing has a huge potential. So it's, it's, it's really very, uh, very, has a lot of potential where classical computers struggle. So whatever you have, to, a lot of possibilities you have to try one by one, quantum computers could really make a difference. And if you think about the far future, then if you could connect quantum computers with quantum sensors, so really building quantum networks, this enables you a completely new variety of applications. Mm -hmm.